involved in the situation, I don't think has changed and has dealt with the situation because they, up until this day, it's still issues. Up until this day, it's still an unseen tension in the air. Because I would say, and I say this because we got married last year in December. And my stepson was not at our wedding. Even after we had purchased his suit, he, he had a part in our wedding. Because if you see my wedding pictures, which I'll, I'll probably leave a link below. In our wedding where we're um, doing a sand pouring, a unity sand pouring ceremony. And basically the sand pouring, you know, signifies the different elements of the union coming together and blending. And he was supposed to be part of this and he wasn't. And we wanted him there obviously because we gave him part. But because for whatever reason... His mother didn't want him to be there. And I can't say if her reason was right or wrong because I'm not her. He wasn't there. So it's still some unseen but seen tension in the air. Even after all these years. And it's not a situation where he's back and forth between the both of us. Because even if it was a situation like that. She would have jumped to the opportunity, especially when we got married, if not before, to let me know this. So I know that it wasn't no back and forth between them two. Um, but like I said, still to this day, we still have to the point where their commu communication isn't the best. And in a sense, like, even though the situation is what it is. It, it bothers me that their communication is reduced to text messages and communicating through other people when they have a child together. But that's not my place. I can't say anything about that. And like I said, when it comes to stuff like that, I have to understand that there's a boundary. Because at the end of the day, although he is my stepson, although he is my husband's child... I can't overstep the boundaries because at the end of the day, he still has a mother. I'm not that his mother. He still has a mother and my husband is his father. And anything in regards to Jared Child, even though my husband may come to me and ask my input or ask me because, or come to me and discuss something with me because a decision he might make regarding that might affect us and our children. At the end of the day, that's still their child together. So I have to understand there's a limit and there's a boundary to that. So basically, that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say in regards to you asked me how I've dealt with it, how I cope with it. I just cope, I deal with it and I cope with it because at the end of the day, I love my husband. My husband loves me. I know regardless of the trials and tribulations our relationship has been, has been through, we're supposed to be together. And we need each other. He needs me and I need him. So I feel like that alone, the fact that I love him and he loves me, we're supposed to be together and he needs me and I need him. That regardless of what we go through or what's presented in our lives, those reasons right there are strong are stronger reasons why we should be together. And why we and why we can overcome certain things. And I wanted to add that in the beginning, I don't know if I said this, I might have said this already. In the beginning, where when it first happened, I did look at it as a burden. I did say that. But naturally, that's any human's reaction to, in your mind, feel like, oh my God, I'm going to have to deal with this for the rest of my life. I'm going to have to deal with this bullshit. I'm going to have to deal with the drama. I'm going to have to deal with all of this. Especially before we got married, because before we got married, I feel like, I mean, I'm not saying this, we never had, me and her never had this conversation, but I feel like, she feel like we've always been on the same level, the same playing field, because we both were in a relationship with him, so, well, that's the consensus, we both were in a relationship with him, we both achieved 
conceive children with him around the same time. So we both have the same entitlement to him, which we don't. And I think once we got married and I became his wife, legally, legally and under a covenant, she took it some type of way, even though we've always been together. We just got married in December, but we've lived together for about six years. Yeah, I think about the same amount. From the time we had our son, yeah, we've been back and forth, but we've lived together about that that time frame. So it's not like it was like oh something else. But basically, I hope that answered your question. I hope that you know it gives you some insight into what you may or may not have to deal with, because you might not have to deal with any of the situations I presented. It might be that you know. What happened, happened, and everybody in the situation have owned up to their parts and have become adults and everybody can move forward. Or you might be in a situation like I am, which it is what it is, but I know my situation. I know what I signed up for. So I know that how and what I'm dealing with. I like, And I hope it helps you. I hope if anyone else is watching this video and... It's a situation that you may be dealing with. I hope this probably helps you and gives you some insight. Um, if anybody is watching this video, if you watch any of my other videos and you wanted me to elaborate on anything I've said in my other videos, um, feel free and let me know and I'll elaborate. You can, um, if you want to contact me, it's regarding you wanting me to elaborate on anything I said in my other videos. You want my opinion on anything, you want my advice, you can hit up my email, exceptionalwoman04 at hotmail.com. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, uh, Exceptional Chick, and Instagram, Exceptional Chick. Um, I don't know, sometimes I'll be forgetting if I put the floor or anything at the end of my names. So all the links for everything will be below. And again, if you want to contact me, exceptionalwoman04 at hotmail.com.